I started decluttering my closet more than six years ago and it was very easy to do so because I had so much unloved clothing, so much damaged items, stained items, items I couldn't fit into. <laughs> so it was very easy and after I decluttered I felt so much lighter. That cemented this idea into my head that every time I'm gonna declutter my closet I'm gonna feel lighter and better. But I quickly realized that even though I feel better and better and better and better after a few decluttering sessions there can come a point where I declutter my closet and I actually don't feel better but I actually feel worse and I also realized that as with shopping when we can buy things for the wrong reason we can also declutter things for the wrong reason and that's exactly what we're gonna dive into now now the first sign is that we are decluttering items that you're actually using quite frequently. Now you may think, why would I do that? Why would I declutter something I'm using? But it can happen more often than you think. And the reason behind this is the same as with shopping, because why do we buy things for the wrong reason? Is because of that excitement, of that hope. We just feel life is gonna be so much better. And the same can happen with decluttering. We get so excited, we're just looking forward to our new version of ourselves. But decluttering has only so much power. So we have to ask ourselves, what are our goals? And if decluttering our closet is something that can and get us there or maybe there is a better option that we can do. Now the second sign is that we are feeling deprived. When we open our closet we shouldn't feel like oh I don't like anything in here everything is boring. No <laughs> we shouldn't feel that we should feel excited. So that is what you're feeling when you're decluttering and decluttering and suddenly you lost the joy that you once had Again, this is a very good sign. You should press pause on your decluttering. Now, the reason why I believe this might happen is because we usually follow someone else's path. We look for them as an inspiration, we copy them, but then we apply it to ourselves and it doesn't work and we just feel deprived. So you have to stay honest with yourself and keep asking the question, am I listening to myself? Does this feel right to me? Or am I following someone else's idea? Now the third sign is that you're replacing items that you already decluttered. Now this is a huge, huge sign that yeah, we should stop decluttering and rethink our journey a little bit because that happened to me. I had only three black handbags at one point. I just have a small one, medium one and a big work one. But then I added another bag and another bag and another bag. And I basically bought bags that I pretty much decluttered, which is insane, but it can happen. That's why it's important that even though decluttering seems simple, what you open the closet and you put stuff away, the physical part of decluttering it's not that hard it's very simple it's even less active than a workout but the mental process can be very draining and we have to be aware of that because when we're decluttering a t-shirt we're not just decluttering a shirt maybe we're letting go something from the past maybe we're letting go something from the future maybe a fantasy version so that's why we should take decluttering a little bit slower and also if we're not 100% sure about decluttering something we don't have to do it we can still wait for a few months and then if we're 100% sure then we can decluttering. Now the fourth sign is that you want a perfect closet. Now that might not seem like a connection with decluttering, but if perfect closet is something you're striving for, the chances are you're not decluttering your closet for the right reasons. I, in the past, I really wanted the perfect closet. And when I say perfect, I mean 100%, like every item should be amazing, over the top, I should love it. I should be like, oh my God, every time I see it, but no, it doesn't work. So my rule of thumb is that if you're happy with 80 to 95% of your closet, then you're okay. You don't need 100% in order to feel happy and content with your wardrobe. So keep that in mind and if you feel you have the urge to clutter something so you can put something better in your wardrobe, stop, take a breath and reevaluate. Now, if you want to go even deeper and discover what is the perfect number of clothes to have in your wardrobe, then watch this video next. I explain everything with ice cream examples. Yum. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.